Has social distancing given you the time to start tackling those at-home projects you've been thinking about doing for months, maybe even years? If you've been following Ashley's social media, then you know she's been getting a lot of home projects done during the quarantine. And I've had quite a few of you reach out to me about the German Schmear project I'm currently working on. Photographer Josh Gates and I headed to my house so that I could show you how it's done. Welcome to my driveway in this case. I'm showing you today how to do a German Schmear. It's a little bit of a faux German Schmear, but it's a great way to take some kind of old tired brick and turn it into some much prettier and fresh brick. So the process is really easy. All you need for this is some paint and some white mortar, or in this case, I'm using some um, surface bonding cement, but I'll show you that when we get there. The first step in this process is going to be just to paint all of my red brick into a solid color. And if you already have just plain brick, you obviously don't need to paint it at all. But my house is 100 years old and there is 100 years of paint on here and it's really not reasonable to try to get it off. So instead, I'm going to be starting by painting my brick to give it sort of a brick-like look again before I put the mortar on. You can skip right to the mortar if you have plain brick. Otherwise, you've got to kind of finesse it a little bit with some paint. So the first thing I'm doing is just rolling the paint on the brick because I want to cover most of the surface area. And you can use any color paint you want. I think three colors is a really good mix to make it look brick-like without doing too much work because a lot of it's gonna be covered up. And when you're picking your colors, you wanna make sure that the color that you want to be most prevalent is the last color that you apply. So for me, I tried it a few different ways around my house and I feel like starting with that dark gray as a base works really well. So I'm just going to roller the gray onto my brick. Make sure your brick is cleaned off. I used a shop vac and a little brush just to make sure that I didn't have any bugs or kind of loose debris on there before I started. And I'll post the actual colors that I'm using in the article as well. This is a simple gray, I think. Um, I go to Norberg paint and get the exterior house paint and they always kind of help me figure out the colors. Sometimes I find a good color online that I like and it might be a different brand, but if you go in there, you can kind of tell them what you want and they'll color match it for you. So I'm just going over my brick and trying to get a pretty thick cover. For the second color, I'm just going over with a large brush don't use a very nice one because it's going to get kind of wrecked, but a nice large brush with a stiff bristle is going to work really well. Make sure you don't have too much paint on there and start to just kind of stipple it on. Don't cover up too much of the gray. You want that to show through. And the key here is just to make sure it's really varied. You don't want it to look perfect or the same as you go across. So more in one area and not that much in another. And that's all you're gonna do is go across all the brick you painted, dark gray, with a little bit of this purplish gray. Now, for my third color, I'm doing the Van Dyke Brown. Again, use whatever color you want to be most prevalent on top. I'm not even washing my brush off because honestly, it doesn't matter if it gets a little mixed because it just adds to that variation. So, I'm moving on to a section I already did because this is still wet. So you want it to be dry and then you just get your brush and I start sort of stippling it on, getting it thick in one area, but then I'm just gonna kind of maybe even brush it over some of the other areas. If you take a brush like this on a brick with a lot of texture and brush it over, it's really just gonna get the top and give it nice dimension. I'm gonna do that across all of the brick and the painting portion is done. Here comes the fun part. We're going to get the mortar on the wall. For this, I'm using a surface bonding cement and it's white. It's great because it also has some fiberglass in it to give it a lot of strength. And for me, this is more than just a cosmetic project. I'm also reinforcing my brick in areas that it needs it. So all I'm going to do is take the mixture I've mixed together and start applying it in the joints. I mix this to about the consistency of peanut butter. It gives directions on the bag, but that's for the whole bag at a time, so I don't want to use that much. And I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this. 
I like to use a mixture of the two ways so that I have more variation. The first thing I've done is I've put my cement in a piping bag with the frosting tip. They do actually make mortar bags for this, but I'm a baker, so I'm not gonna get something new when I have this. And then I'm just gonna go to my wall and I'm gonna pipe along the joints. Once I get enough in, I'm just gonna run over it with my finger. Now the other way you can do it is just by getting it with your hands like this and just sort of putting it in the lines. This is gonna get a little bit of a messier look, but that's a really great thing to mix in with the cleaner look because you do get that variation. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of step back and to make sure I have that variation, I'll just take some and just smear it on the top. And that's it, once you're done with that, we're just gonna age it a little bit, which I'll show you how, and you're done. The final step in the process is to give it a little bit of an aged look. The mortar is such a bright white and my house is 100 years old, so if it had been German smeared originally, it wouldn't be this white and fresh. So to change that, I am using a mixture of this stain, which is a weathered oak exterior stain, and then I'm adding to it mineral spirits to water it down. I'm using about a 50-50 mix just so that it doesn't stain the mortar too much. I already have some mixed here that's just 50-50, and I'm just taking an old shirt as a rag, dip a little bit in, and then go over all the brick and mortar. And that's it. That's how you get your house to have a nice German schmear look, even if you don't have the right bricks to start with. Did you like what you just saw? Who doesn't love watching those home makeover shows on television? Or those great before and after photos people post to social media? I've even watched those videos people post on the internet of them trying to beautify their ugly rooms. Doesn't it all make you want to give your ugly room a makeover? Well, we want to see it. It's the Kelloland Living Picture It Perfect Home Improvement Photo Contest. Send your ugly room picture to kelloland.com and you could win $300 in gift cards that can be used to give that ugly room a much needed facelift with the help of Mallander's Appliance and Lighting, Norberg Paints, and Harold's Photo Experts. How bad could it be? Enter our Picture Perfect Home Improvement Contest today at kelloland.com. And if you win, you could do that whole project. It cost me less than $200 in supplies. That's awesome.